Good morning. It's Tuesday, June 4th, and uh, I'm spending my day here in the morning. Getting the car checked out. It's an electric car and it has an electric problem, so I can kind of check it out. It's also 19 years sober. Oh boy. After that time, I just kind of hang out and do stuff. How's it, Hanglings? Welcome to Mongoose Max Hawaii, the channel. It is, it is Tuesday morning, but hi, it's Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. This is pre-recording stuff going on, everything. Oh my gosh. So, uh, my, uh, my opening thing was probably from yesterday, which is now two days ago. <laughs> actually, this day, which is actually tomorrow, <laughs> yesterday, uh, I have a car dealership. So I'm right back from the car dealership where I have to get my Ford C-Max fixed at the dealership because it's just like the thing. And it's a hybrid car. So it's part electric, part gas, and something electric is getting weird with it. It won't turn on. It thinks it's still, it tells me it's still plugged in. Like, have you unplugged it? Have you unplugged it? And it won't let me turn it on and to fiddle it. So, and then it has this little monkey wrench that pops up. And so I go there and the guy's like, I, did the monkey wrench come on? I said, yeah. And he's like, that's just maintenance. I get, yeah, but it won't turn on. <laughs> so it's going to take a half a day of diagnosis and then I'll find out whatever so I've just uh, got ubered back here and uh, and now <laughs> now it's uh yeah like you know it's um it's also today is 19 years of sobriety for me in Alcoholics Anonymous that's AA so oh a note what could this be? It's a letter. It's a, oh, there's something in here. What is that? Oh, it's a, a round thing. Oh, oh, oh. This doesn't focus. Oh. <laughs> 19 years, I get one of these. Um, uh, well, you can buy them, but um, you know, and actually, so I'm not, I wasn't, got it, but I'm not playing with it until today. So now, if I put it, I'm playing with it. Actually, I'm just like humble and grateful. You know, you, you go there. I didn't, I mean, I didn't just jump in there and go, oh, cure me. Hey, you never cured. It's just, uh, you know, enough of a problem. And believe me, four rehabs. I was dragged into this kicking and screaming, but finally went and did this. You know, I didn't even know what the steps were, the 12 steps. That's like the main meat and potatoes of this program is go that and 12, uh, you know, uh, others go to meetings and network, uh, net network, you, you get a support uh, net and, uh, and uh, the 12 steps is the pretty much meat and potatoes in that big book. And uh, for two years, I was in Montana going, eh, and go to the little meetings and have the poster with the 12 steps and like, yes, the 12 steps. And I'd look at them on the wall and just stare at them, concentrate. Like I thought I was doing the steps by just full read. I read them, they're on the wall, I'm reading them and I'm thinking. Hmm. I thought that was doing the steps for two years. I didn't know what. So it's, um, yeah, just like today's yesterday, the, the, the sunset is two days ago if you're watching this wednesday and this is actually recorded the day before tuesday to be pre-recorded stuff so that's all that so that's the vlog the news is um i'm just gonna stick with 
Oh, okay, I picked somebody up at the airport and I found out it, it, the, the volcano Kilauea is going boom boom. So it went boom yesterday about yesterday, which is two days ago now for you. <laughs> About 12 hours, and as soon as I picked my friends up at the airport, it, it stopped or something? Seems like a wise guy news. Look. Ooh. Okay. Apparently, it's not that um, uh, what it, damaged. That's what it is. It's not that damaged. It's not that big of a deal. I mean, I mean, it went to a vent that went and popped up and uh it's like something distant from the halimama it's kilauea caldera and halimama pit and it's a little bit distant from it a fissure and that fissure hadn't erupted since uh like 50 years ago <laughs> but it can and when it went there it erupted in the same spot it went there for 12 hours and then it stopped these little quakes little little shaking Bacon. That's what it is. So shaking and baking. <laughs> well, let's just go see what see what's Hawaiian is. So last eruption, latest rather, pause is. So an aerial view here shows lava spewing forth at 6 a.m. Uh, Monday. Uh, ee, rift zone, Kilauea, ee, Big Island. Ee, ee, so it's just rifting out there. And activity like it's 12 hours might not be over. Okay, that's good. I mean, it's not a, it's not a damage thing. It's just more like, and it's emitting a ton of gas. It's like gassing out to the max. It's the major gas one. So it's gonna have pretty, pretty red sunset, pretty red, and then choke everybody out with vog later <laughs> as it blows around. It's been pretty windy. Ah, uh, sports. Six-year odyssey. Yes. Um, these guys are Oregon quarterbacks. Still in Gabriel. Uh, yeah, don't tell me where they're from. They were from Mililani Trojans. <laughs> That's, they got the local guys. Oh, where do you play now? Oregon Bucks. Okay. A little not back in the day. You know, just relax. Easy. Yeah, kind of board dealership. Remember back in the day in 1992? Oh, no. Yeah, Patsy Jacks. No more Wheel of Fortune. This Friday is the last one. It's all pre-recorded too. Passe Jack pre-recorded. <laughs> he's already he's already retired. Passe Jack. Oh, bye bye wheel. Okay. 1992. Remember, you just walk outside the store. Hey, this key. Oh, I got any shave ice. Oh, just tourist t-shirt, eh? Uh, this is Kawaii's Hanapepe. Captures microcosm Hawaii struggle between agriculture and tourism. <laughs> struggle. As a small town preserves a plantation past while realistically to its future, the Ue Oka store prominently displays t shirts. I was right. It's like, oh, look, there's. Yeah, but what are they going to do with plantation store? You guys go, oh, buy some, buy some freaking go sugar cane. Oh, here's some tools for you to go harvest the sugar cane. It's just a building that's plantation days. Okay, enough. Go ahead, it's out. Top, <laughs> top, maybe Lani Torchins. Ah, day at the park is a kick. Oh, political cartoon. Oh. Mexico elects a woman president. Maybe one day us too, eh? Yeah, maybe. The Statue of Liberty and Little Cape. Oh yeah, women's rights are just not over with yet. But it's funny though, the um, uh, black people or Negro got the right to vote before women got the right to vote. <laughs> in the Civil War. Woman's rights. How about a little bit of uh, back in the uh, finger on the pulse, rather? Oh, mm -hmm. Trump doing everything possible to evade the truth. Oh, here. Homeless near a diamond head pose public threat. Oh, May, article on Wildfire Reef says the unseen commander has responsibility for determining necessary evacuation actions based on frontline conditions. Actually, the primary concern should be focused on putting the fire out. Immediate evaluations may be necessary as part of these actions, but fight the fire. With respect to the people camping on the sides of Diamond Head, we should be all embarrassed that we let the ACLU and city leaders allow these humans to exist in Stone Age conditions. <laughs> You should not exist. Many are not fit to make rational, independent decisions to care for themselves. Alexis. And Alexis too. In trying to heat food or stay warm, 
they endanger the rest of the people living in homes. Living in homes and surrounding areas. And it is not only the diamond head. For the safety of all, they should be removed and placed in proper treatment facilities to address mental and substance abuse issues. Mark Croce Po Olina talking in Tutu voice. Hey, thanks, Mark, for braving the Tutu voice, eh? <laughs> Actually, you know what? Uh, yeah. I've been in the park, and you see they 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 go and they nest in the in the banyan tree, and you can hide in there, and they there's stuff in there. And inside, by the banyan trees, there's like where they had their campfire burning at the base of the tree. It's burnt part of the tree. Like, why are you here? Like the tree, you can catch the tree on fire, and then fires up on Diamond Head, the ridge, right before the out the the lookout with the lighthouse up on the ridge. You know, there's lots. It's not just like one. There's tons. And they go up there and tons and tons of stuff and they all congregate and they're like drinking the jug and that's you know, it's, it's the part of their thing that's why they don't want to be in the thingies and they do make fires they make outdoor fires and it can burn so yeah mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> i don't know about this should that exist not there though but uh that's it oh pat on the head 19 years there is enough, like, oh, you know, I'm just what they call breaking anonymity. I mean, at, at this point, it's like, eh, whatever. <laughs> 19 years, that's a problem. 19 years, or it might help, you know, that's the idea. But it can never break anybody else's anonymity. And I can do it my, for myself, but not any anybody else. But, uh, you know, <laughs> anyways, it's just another day. Okay. Aloha. Have a good, um, Wednesday? Yeah, have a good Wednesday. That's what it is. Yeah. Wait, did I own self be true? It's actually Aloha. It's pre-recorded. That's what it is. Aloha. Pre-recorded. <laughs>